Hey folks, Bud Talbot, W0RMT here to talk to you today about DV Switch Mobile. This is the first video in a series of video about setting up your DV Switch Mobile server and client apps. And in this particular video, we're just going to go over an introduction and preparations you need to begin the setup. So first of all, what is DV Switch Mobile? It's a personally controlled server client system that allows you, the licensed amateur operator, to access digital voice networks from your mobile device or from your personal computer. So DV Switch Mobile will allow you to access DMR, DSTAR, YSF, NXDN, and P25 networks from your Android phone or your PC. Sort of a diagram, a high-level diagram of what this system looks like is the following. You set up the DV Switch Mobile server on a Raspberry Pi computer that's co connected to your local network via your modem and to the internet. And then you access that server from your mobile device using the Android app or from your Mac, Linux, or Windows computer using the Puck app, either on that same local network or even if you're on the internet in a remote location. So let's talk about what you would need to get together if you want to set up your own DV Switch mobile system. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi single board computer. Any variant will do. I use a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus for mine. You'll need a micro SD card. We recommend a 16 gig class 10 card. And you'll need some SD card imaging software. If you're a Windows user, you might already be using Win32 Disk Imager. Melina Etcher is another multi-platform great option. If you're a Linux user, there's a native utility already been, built into Ubuntu and many distributions. You'll also need an SSH client for remote access of the Raspberry Pi server so that you can set it up and maintain it. We recommend using PuTTY. And obviously you'll need local internet access for your Raspberry Pi. That can either be via an ethernet connection to your switch or via Wi-Fi. And then optional but highly recommended is having an external hardware vocoder like the Northwest Digital Thumb DV. You'll need this if you want to operate on DSTAR and have good quality voice. So what are the next steps if you'd like to set up your own DV Switch mobile system? You're going to watch the following videos in this series to help you get set up and running. In video two, we'll talk about installing and configuring the DV Switch mobile server on a Raspberry Pi. In video three, we'll talk about installing and configuring the DV Switch mobile client app on your Android device. And then in video four, we'll go over some advanced configuration of the DV Switch mobile server and of the app. Video five will be about installing the Puck client on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS computers so you can access your DV Switch mobile server. And then in video six, we'll talk about configuring those Puck clients. If you're interested and you'd like to learn more in addition to watching the rest of the videos in the series, please make sure to check out the group on groups.io for DV Switch Mobile. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.